Hey guys, fortunately for us, Acme Bugnet has provided us with a recording of a phone conversation between Vic the Slick and Carmen San Diego. Listen. Acme knows where you are. You've got to hide out in the land of the Kiwis. Uh, Carmen, ain't that some kind of fruit? It's also a bird and a nickname for the people. Go to Rotorua. It's full of thermal pools, sulfur waters, and geysers. Jeez, all that steam. It'll take the creases out of my suit. Move, Vic, or I'll put a crease in your head. Okay, Gumshoes, name the country. Is it Tonga, Australia, or New Zealand? Remember the clues that we heard? People are nicknamed Kiwis, Rotorua, Thermal Pools, Sulfur Waters, and Geysers. Put the information together, come up with an answer. Becky's ready, so is Jason. Vincent is ready, too. Vincent, what'd you say? Australia. Australia. Jason? Tonga. Tonga. Becky? New Zealand. New Zealand. The answer we're looking for is New Zealand. Nice job, Becky. So that means, Vincent, you have 55, Jason, you have 60, Becky, you have 80. Starting to pull ahead there, so what? Big big That's great. Just come right in here. Invite the whole town if you want to. Invite every... He went to this mount back in Italy. The towers by the fire that burns in now. The only active volcano on mainland Europe today, 2,000 years ago, it swamped Pompeii. Now that's a clue, ladies and gentlemen. Rockapella. Thank you. Bravo. 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 <laughs> Okay, guys, name the Italian mountain. Is it Mount Blanc, Mount Etna, or Mount Vesuvius? Remember the clues that we heard? Only active volcano on mainland Europe, Napoli and Pompeii. Becky is already ready. So is Vincent. Jason is ready, too. Vincent, what do you say? Mount Vesuvius. Nice job, Mount, Mount Vesuvius. Nice job. Jason. Mount Blanc. Mount Blanc. Becky. Mount Vesuvius. Mount Vesuvius. The answer we're looking for is Mount Vesuvius. Nice job, Vincent and Becky. Okay, so that means Benson has 65, Jason has 60, and Becky is pulling ahead with 90. Crying. Down, Bell Bell. It's my upstairs neighbor, Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger. Come on. We making too much noise, Mrs. Pumpkin Clanger. Crime, 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 all day long. That's all I hear. You want to catch Vic? Go to Tutuila Island, for pity's sake. It's part of American Samoa, the only United States territory south of the equator. He sunk the tower in one of the loveliest harbors in the South Pacific. Now go get your crook and leave me in peace. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. P. Sorry about that. Sorry. You know, she may be crabby, but she's got good sources. Okay, guys, name the island town. Is it Honolulu, Pongo Pongo, Papiati? Remember the clues that we heard? Tutuila Island, part of American Samoa, and South Pacific Harbor. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can, please. Becky's ready, so is Vincent. Jason is ready right as soon as he picks it. There it is. Vincent, what do you say? Pago Pago. Pago Pango Pango. What do you think, uh, Jason? Honolulu. Honolulu. Becky. Honolulu. Honolulu. The answer we're looking for is Pongo Pongo. Nice job, Vincent. So that means Vincent has 75, Jason has 60, Becky is ahead with 90. Crime bucks. Nice job, you guys. Now, uh, unfortunately, we've lost sight of Vic in the Pacific. But before we talk about that, I need to tell you, we're preparing now for the last clue of this round, which means you get to make a decision. You get to decide now how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Now, take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Vic the Slick is headed. If you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So take a look and think about it. Okay, looks like everybody's ready. Like I told you before, I'm afraid we lost Vic in the Pacific. We don't know whether he lost his way, he's lost it in space, lost his... None of the above. He went to the Hawaiian Islands.
Oh, well, uh, why did he go there? What am I, a mind reader? Maybe he went to see Pearl Harbor, or Waikiki, or Diamond Head. Sounds reasonable. I'm so glad you think so. Now do your job. Okay, sure, sure, thanks. Don't mention it. Oh, and Greg? Yeah. Aloha. Aloha. I don't know why he's always so testy. Okay, gumshoes, name the Hawaiian island. Is it Oahu, Hawaii, or Molokai? Remember the clues that we heard? Pearl Harbor, Waikiki, and Diamond Head. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Lay it down right there in front of you. Jason's ready. Lay down right in front of you there, Jason. Becky's ready. So is Vincent. Okay, Jason, you have 60 crime bucks. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 10 crime bucks. 10. This will take you up to 70 if you're right. What'd you say? I said Hawaii. Hawaii? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the answer we're looking for. That'll take you down 10 to 50. Okay, Vincent, you have 75 crime bucks. How much did you risk? 10 crime bucks. 10 crime bucks. It'll take you up to 85. You'll stay in second place. What'd you say? Oahu. 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 That's the answer we're looking for. Nice job. Takes up to 85. Becky, you're way in the lead with 90 crime bucks, but we need to find out first how much did you risk? 20. 20. If you're not right, this will take you down to 70, 70 points, and uh, you and Vincent will then be going on to the next round. If you're right, though, you go up another 20, and you and Vincent will still go on. What'd you say? Hawaii. Hawaii is not right. You're going to come down, which means Vincent is in the lead, but Vincent and Becky are going on to the next round. Nice job, guys. Okay. Jason, look, man, you were a great detective. You did some great stuff for us today. We've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes a World Traveler's Atlas, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen sweatshirt, and a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And our thanks for all your good work on this case. And Jason, I salute you. Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys, look, it's time for you now to go to Oahu to try to ta track down Vic the Slick and the Tower of Pisa. What you have to do is find them and bring them back. But I want you to know we do not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Chief, how about a briefing? All right. Here's the scoop on Oahu. Third largest Hawaiian island and the most developed, nicknamed the Gathering Place. It's home to three quarters of Hawaii's population, around 900,000 people. And it's where you'll find Honolulu the state capital. Now, the boys down at Photo Recon have put together a few slides. Now, here is an Acme gnarly net agent on routine patrol. Now, if you're going to Hawaii, you've got to know about surfing. Now, ancient Hawaiians call it he enalu, meaning wave sliding. Now, Captain James Cook, the first European to discover Hawaii, saw wooden surfboards being used in 1778. Ah, Kawabunga. Waikiki. This trip of beachside land has always been popular. In ancient times, Hawaiian chiefs rode their 18-foot boards here. Nowadays, it gets about 70,000 visitors a day, so keep your eyes open. Iolani Palace only royal palace ever built on American soil. Now, King Kalakaua and his sister, Queen Liliokalani, lived there until 1893, when American businessmen and soldiers overthrew the monarchy. Now, the Prince of Polyester may try to make this palace his home, so look around for Vic the Slick. International Marketplace, the Times Square of Waikiki, an acre of shops and kiosks selling everything imaginable. Look for the Tower of Pisa here. The statue of Kamehameha, the king when Captain Cook arrived in Hawaii. Now you can't see his face very well, but that's okay. The statue's model bore no resemblance to the actual king anyway. Every year on Kamehameha Day, the statue is draped with flower necklaces or leis. Well, that's Oahu gumshoes. And it's time to head out into the field now. Always remember the Acme Triangle of Excellence. Vigilance. Dedication. Courage. Go get them, gumshoes.